Hello, I'm Mrs. Gonzalez. Welcome to my page and my Canvas website for all of my English classes. And this is our English classroom on Canvas. I'm currently in student view so you can see what it would look like for yourself or your students logging into Canvas. This is of course my happy Halloween, happy fall y'all classroom. <clears throat> I just like to add a little bit of fun into our classroom, but right down here is where things get really important. So every single one of these is a button that your students can access different things that are important to my class. Um, right here is our bell schedule. If you click on that, it'll take you directly to our bell schedules for Lakeside High. The reason that's important is because we have Zoom classes at the beginning of every class every day. Um, if you'd like to find out some more information about myself, here is my Meet the Teacher page. You're welcome to come back over this anytime. And then we've got our class syllabus, which you can also, you can locate here as well as on the side menu where it says syllabus. And then we have our Zoom links. It would change depending on the class, but the setup is basically the same regardless of the class I teach. I do teach English 9 for 3rd, 5th, and 6th period, as well as ELD 2 and 3 during 2nd and 4th periods. Um, you can also access our daily work modules by clicking here. I do set up my class in modules. So let's go ahead and look at a sample. So for example, this week we're working on imagery and it is the 11th week of school. And just as a reminder, all students' ABR projects and synopsis are due this Friday. Every single week I set up our class with a week at a glance so the students can see exactly what we're doing in class every day and what they need to um, do, including completing and submitting assignments. And it's set up by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way through Friday. Usually on Fridays we have a quiz if they are in English 9. And that quiz is just to check on um, their learning from this past week. They also have a weekly reading log that needs to be completed. If we're doing a major assignment like last week, I gave them a week to work on their um, project and their synopsis. They did not have a reading log due. But you're welcome to go ahead and look through anything in grades to see how your student is doing in our class. This will break it down according to or from the first day or the first very first assignment all the way down to assignments that are due this week. Now, if your student has a grade, well, if you continue to go down, you'll see what's due this week, and then it gives them your total score. This is a test student, so it's not giving anybody's information, but it would break down your total score and show you what the student is getting in tests and quizzes, alternative book reports, and right now they should have an NA. Everybody should have an NA because we haven't turned one in yet. And their interactive notebook, their classwork, homework, and reading logs, and their participation and discussions. Um, and then the total would be right here. The great thing about this is if your student has a score um, that they don't like and they'd like to attempt to redo it, they can. And they can actually go in and see um, something that Canvas calls a what if. So what that means is they can actually click right here and put in, let's say, they want to see what their grade would be if they put in an 18. This is their what if score, and then it would show them what their grade would change to if that was happening. Hopefully it would change more than that, uh, but that is just a sample. So let's go ahead and head back over to our home screen. And a couple of the other buttons. We just finished reading Tangerine, but your students could have accessed Tangerine by clicking on this button. I did include it for free, a PDF version, a Google link, and all of the uh, audio book links to YouTube. Um, these currently do not have the um, links attached because we haven't started these readings yet. If you need to contact me, all of my information is on this contact button. Um, and then they can check out an infant campus by doing this. But the most important part of this page is the class videos page. So if we click on class videos, you'll see that I have a calendar of lesson videos. And every single class that we do, if there is a lesson and not an ed puzzle or a quiz then i do record our class sessions and your students can always go back 
and watch what they missed or need to re-watch or relearn at any time. And it starts in August and goes through. If it's highlighted in blue, it does have a link ready for them. As you see, almost all of September has lesson links for them and the same in October. Last week did not because we had a tangerine week where students got to work on their own uh, projects. Um, <clears throat> this is a great, great, great resource for you and your students to come in and see what we've been doing in class. Just in case you haven't had the chance to review it, we do also have our syllabus right here. You can click on syllabus. It explains how I weight grades in our class and then everything else you need to know about our class. All you need to do is scroll down and read them. Then your students will be able to help you um, understand some of these things. Uh, a few things have been changed like I lowered the amount of um, alternative book reports that we're doing just because we are online and we talk a lot about like plagiarism and they do need to understand that like their synopsis that they're turning in this week is submitted through turnitin.com and the students understand that if they have a rating above 30 percent they do have a zero they will have the opportunity to resubmit but it requires their late pass and loses a grade deduction just wanted to give you a few important reminders um, and bits of information. The first thing is, since we are virtual, I have left all classwork, reading logs, and interactive notebook notes open. And what that means is that students can still turn them in for credit. Um, because they're late, it is reduced credit, but it is credit nonetheless. Um, the second thing is that all quizzes and tests can be taken again to improve scores. Um, I usually give the students three opportunities to retry tests to improve their scores. Um, so if you see a quiz or test score that you're not happy with, please encourage your students to retake it again. Um, the third thing is, I've said it before, but I just want to make sure everybody knows that the Tangerine Project and Synopsis are due this Friday at uh, 1023. I also sent home uh, reminders about this through Parent Square and through um, Infinite Campus. If you're not receiving those notifications, please make sure that you call the school and get some help signing up for those as soon as possible. Um, and the last thing is, should you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me at Courtney.Gonzalez at leusd.k12.ca.us.